Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to detach your Microsoft Edge web bar and attach it to your desktop in Windows. So this is new, even though it's been around for a while, there's been hacks and registry edits uh, showing you how to do this, but now it's supported by Microsoft. But the catch is it only works for Windows 10 right now. I'm not sure if it's going to work for Windows 11 or not. It could be because how they redesigned the taskbar maybe doesn't work properly with the uh, new technology used for Windows 11. But anyways, for Windows 10, if you're still on it and you're using Edge, you have your sidebar here, which has, you know, your AI stuff. If you want to use the chat GPT, uh, your searching, shopping, you know, tools, you know, games, uh, 365, Outlook, Drop, and so on. We have some videos on how to use the sidebar and how to use this drop feature and so on if you want to check those out. So on Windows 10, you'll notice you have this guy here, Detached from Edge. So if you click on that, you'll see it kind of changes. And I can minimize uh, Edge here. And now you can see the sidebar stays here. And let's say you open up File Explorer, for example. Make it full screen. You can see the sidebar still stays there. So it's a nice feature if you use the sidebar a lot. Um, that way you always have access to your tools. And then if you want to put it back, you can click on the three dots here. Close and reattach to Edge. So now it's closed. And it's part of Edge again, so when you minimize, it sticks with Edge. So like I said, I'm not sure if it's going to make it to Windows 11 or not. Uh, maybe they have to redesign some things to make that work. But for now, if you're on Windows 10, you could uh, check out this new feature. Just click the button here, Detach from Edge. And when you're done, click on the three dots, close and reattach to Edge, and you'll be back to uh, normal. All right, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe. <coughs>